Welcome back everybody. In this video you're going to see something a little different than what we've been showing you before. We're not going to show you any more code today. What we're going to show you today is how you can design your program with something called pseudocode. And this is going to be one example of pseudocode. Now for this to make any sense we expect that you've watched the video that shows you that little program called Level Changer Working. If you haven't seen that program this probably won't make a lot of sense. Now, if you have seen the program, then you know what the different buttons in the program do. And this is a little example of pseudocode. Now, what pseudocode is, it's basically like a point form version of code that helps you design your program before you start coding it to see if you know what everything's going to be doing. So, for example here you'll see one important thing that you have to think about before you start coding your program is what variables does your program need. This little program was very simple. It only has one integer level, keeps track of level. And that's basically how you write it. Okay, just a little point form to show you've thought about it and you know that variable is needed there. Now, for all the other stuff you see here, what I do is I go through and I look through all the other events that take place in the program and I should be able to write out in almost like a little flowchart style what takes place. Now you write it in a little version of sort of English half code. So it's easier just to show you here. So you'll see here one event that takes place is the frame pops open. You guys know that the constructor method runs. Whoops. And when the constructor method runs, here's what I'm going to do. I set the level to 1 and I show it in the box. I disable the increase, decrease, and play buttons. Okay, that's it. Notice I don't actually write the code here, just point form English. Now what happens in the program? Well, you know that the user hits the pick button. So here I have the pick button is pressed event. When the pick button is pressed, write out what's going to happen in the proper order. I enable the increase and the play button, and I disable the pick button. That's all that's happening. You'll see here when the play button is pressed, I disable all buttons. Okay, that's all that happens when I hit the play button. Now down here is a good example of what takes place when you have some events that are going to involve if statements and how you can draw them out in your pseudocode. You almost get to write this little flowchart type style, and this is one way you can do it, which isn't bad for a beginner. So when the increase button is pressed, I check if the level is less than five. If the answer is no, it's not less than five, I play a little bad sound like er, just to let them know, you know, you can't do it. If the answer is yes, increase the level by one, show the level, enable the decrease button, and check if the level is five. And if the level is five, that's another if statement. If the answer is yes, I disable the increase button. You'll see here something very similar for the decrease button, right? Now this is pseudocode. It basically guides you through your program. With more complicated programs, you might need a really, really large piece of paper, or you have to have some sort of style where you can say, hey, connect to page five, connect to page six. But this is the basic example, right, of an example pseudocode for a tiny little program. If you're good at this, you should be able to write your entire program in point form and then you should just be able to play your game on paper or play your program on paper and follow along. As you follow along, if you notice you've missed something out, you know, you should be able to detect it here. Pseudocode really is the logic of your program. This should be the hardest part about designing your program. Once you've done your pseudocode, really, all these instructions here you just have to turn them into point form English into code. And if you know your code, that shouldn't be hard, right? Like level equals level plus one. Text level dot set text, you know, show level in the box. These are all just simple little code lines. So that's pseudocode. We're going to give you a program that asks you to do pseudocode, which is going to be the guessing game. So you're going to have to run the program. You get to watch what it does and you have to write the guessing game into pseudocode and then we'll also get you to practice it with a few other programs so you can get good at planning thinking and designing your program before you actually start to type lines of code so I hope that's a good enough example to get you started 
and uh, good luck with the guessing game and try it out yourself.